Listerine. Feel the woe. When all you can burgers is think about, Postmates. For 50% off your first five orders, use code FEAST. Every day, KTLA 5 reports to you, to all of Southern California. We are LA's very own. I know you fear a lot of, uh, a lot of misinformation. Most crime is down. Right now at 5, cracking down on California's crime wave, District Attorney George Cascon defending his policing policies amid the recent surge in smash and grabs and violent follow-home robberies. Why he's doubling down. LA students standing with parents today protesting the school district's vaccine mandate. What they're demanding as we learn new details about one vaccine's protection from the Omicron variant. The laws here will protect reproductive rights, reproductive freedoms. The Golden State at the center of America's abortion battle. Could California soon become a sanctuary state for those seeking abortions? And should taxpayers be footing the bill? The News at 5 starts right now. Happy Wednesday. This is the KTLA 5 News at 5. I'm Pedro Rivera. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sandra Mitchell. I'm in today for Cher Calvin. We want to thank you for joining us. All right, after weeks of deadly shootings, smash and grab heist, home invasions, follow home robberies, we are now hearing for the first time from LA County DA George Gascon. KTLA's Lauren Lister is live in downtown Los Angeles where the DA defended himself against those claiming his progressive policies are in part responsible for the escalating crime. Lauren. Yeah, Pedro and Sandra, this comes as the DA is facing a second recall attempt and today surrounded by other progressive DAs from all over the country. LA County District Attorney George Gascon had a year in review press conference here at the Hall of Justice doubling down on his approach. Amid a trend in follow home robberies and flash mob retail theft and an increase in homicides, LA County's district attorney today taking the podium in the face of high profile critics. Well, I'm hoping it's a press conference announces resignation. DA George Gascon touted his first year in office. We have made incredible progress. Gascon saying he's advanced the criminal justice reform agenda he ran on with focus on areas like crime prevention. By investing in solutions that address the root causes of crime, Despite critics who say he is too soft on crime, the DA's office says they filed 51% of felony cases they were presented, compared to a 56% rate in 2019 before the pandemic. Here's a look at how misdemeanor filings compare with and without addiction-related crimes, which his office no longer prosecutes, saying they instead seek treatment for those offenders. Other policies include not charging juveniles as adults, not seeking the death penalty, and not pursuing enhancements that add to prison sentences. We're crafting thoughtful, humane policies that are helping to build safer and healthier communities. This veteran LA County prosecutor disagrees. I mean, here's the thing, not charging crime and releasing criminals is not making our community any safer. You just need to look at the facts. Uh, the murder rate is up 74% in the county. It's up 47% in the city. The sheriff is also a vocal opponent. All of the law enforcement throughout the county is struggling to, to deal with his, his approach, which has just been god awful. But the DA defended against the notion that breaking in crime we are seeing has anything to do with his approach. Uh, I know you fear a lot of uh, a lot of misinformation uh, concerning the this uh, particular um, wave of crime. Most crime is down, uh, but for homicides. Lauren, so did Gascon say what he plans to do about the brazen crimes we're seeing, like those flash mobs, smash and grabs? Yeah, when it comes to the smash and grabs, he says they are prosecuting those crimes when presented. He says the smash and grabs are putting in the organized crime unit and also cyber crime. He says they're working with LAPD and others. But what about that rising homicide rate? Coming up at 6, I'll tell you what he said about that. For now, that's the latest live here in downtown LA. I'm Lauren Lister. I'll send it back to you. Yeah, so many people concerned about this. All right, Lauren, thank you. A young boy shot outside a recreation center in Boyle Heights. Now he's officially been identified as 14-year-old Jeremy Galvin. Officers began receiving calls about shots fired. It was about 3.30 yesterday afternoon. Police responded to East 1st Street and found 14-year-old Jeremy shot and struggling to breathe. He was pronounced dead less than two hours.